what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology once again and today one of the questions which was asked will be answered that sometimes it becomes very 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 difficult to understand if a planet is strong weak or good or bad or afflicted yes sometimes we see so many things so what's a shortcut to know the functioning of a planet which means how to know without using astrology that if the planet is strong in my chart or is it weak in my chart okay or is it well placed or is it not very well placed okay so we will see things regarding that it's a very easy uh, way to know all right so if you're new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then approach me through my website the link is there in the description below all right and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and you'll find him so sometimes it happens that many times people ask this question my saturn is placed in the third house <laughs> it is placed in the sixth house in the eighth house in the twelfth house is it good or is it bad yes how do we know that that planet is strong enough now there are certain rules like there is shut bell then you see if the planet is in kendra then it's strong if it is in trikon then it's also strong if it is in dustanas then it is relatively weaker it has the potential to do more harm than good then there are rules like if it is an own sign it is strong if it is in multricone it's very strong if it is an exaltation it's extremely strong and if it is an exaltation degree wise like for example if moon is in zero to three degrees of taurus it is in peak exaltation yes the, the third degree uh, and for jupiter it is five degrees of cancer so if planet is situated there then it's extremely 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 strong yes and the other rules are like if they are situated with natural benefits then the planets can do a bit better yes so for example if jupiter and saturn are sitting together then what can happen is uh, you can have a lot of positivity in your work it can happen depending on other combinations of course so there are different rules and suppose that planet has been aspected by a malefic then the negative parts of the uh, the negative things traits of the planet can come out more so suppose uh, saturn is aspecting some planet <coughs> yes as james barser said if saturn aspects venus then the person is shy in talk going and talking to the opposite sex or wh whatever you call it yes if saturn is aspecting the moon then the person feels that oh i am not good enough <laughs> or if it aspects the ascendant then externally others can think that this person is not very intelligent so uh, how do you know what's happening so these are the standard rules which we can apply but what if we see everything and still we are confused then we, of course we go to divisional charts we go to the d7 the d9 the d10 and we see in each and every area of our life how is the planet functioning so i have not started with the series on divisional charts i'll be starting that soon but the question is sometimes it will happen if you are doing consultations or if you are <coughs> reading the chart yourself also your own chart or somebody else's maybe your friend or some relative who you know properly okay so then you can't identify what's going on so the first thing we need to do is we need to check for similar placements in the charts of people who we already know very well or whose life history has been documented very well so for example suppose you want to know saturn in the third house aspected by jupiter from the first is good or bad yes people ask this question is it good or is it bad so then how do you know yes so of course you can follow the standard rules which i gave and there are so many other rules you will find in the internet and in the classics of course but another way you can do it is you can look for people who you know suppose you know your uh, father has the same combination so you can check with your father what has happened during the time period of saturn if saturn dasha came in his life okay or if you know your mother has then you can ask how how uh, how do you feel saturn is yes and you can check in your own life the other way is you can check in your own life the second shortcut how is that planet behaving in my life yes or how am i behaving with uh, the traits of that planet which means suppose many people have this confusion that oh my venus is here my venus is there how will be my love life the question is how has it been so far okay now if you are a boy or a girl who is of 15 years of age uh, then you may not be into relationships but uh, anyways these days people get into relationships uh, very early often also 
but if you are from the west then it can happen that by the age you are 16 17 you have already been into one relationship yes i have met so many people here uh, but suppose you are at the age of 20 25 then you can check how your uh, venus is functioning which means you can check that uh, if you have been into relationships how has it been for you is it all the time that you are quarreling or you are fighting with each other <laughs> or is it that the, you are cheating on uh, your spouse or your spouse is cheating on you yes so then you then you can understand very quickly what's happening so then you do the remedies pertaining to the planets yes so that's the easiest way to know if a planet is strong or is it weak so it if it is weak how you can know is suppose you are planning to get married yes like the arranged marriage system in india for example where you go and see a girl in the consent of your parents your mother and father and some other relatives and then you go and decide sometimes uh, if the society is very conservative then uh, you may not decide your parents may have a bigger role but these days as uh, time is progressing the boy or the girl only makes the primary decision of whom to marry even even within arranged marriages the parents can give their opinions of course so if you are finding that oh it is becoming very difficult to find a girl or a boy or some problem or the other or maybe you are going on dating somebody but somebody is not replying to your text but or they behave with you as if they don't like you or you don't exist sometimes yes dating scenarios <laughs> so then it can happen that your venus may be weak or and if uh, there is cheating which is going on then it is seriously afflicted yes so suppose whenever you get into a relationship after that honeymoon phase that la la land phase is over then you have a tendency to look at the wives of other men or maybe husbands of <laughs> other women <laughs> or the girlfriends or the boyfriends of um, or so many cases i keep hearing that oh my girlfriend is going on with uh she's uh, going on dates with other men so uh, what should i do they ask me then i said them there's nothing you can do because she has already thrown you out of your life yes or out of her life i mean so there's nothing you can do so if these kind of things are going on then you have to under i, I mean if the wrong part of that the venusian things which is what cheating and uh breaking um breaking the vows of marriage yes if all those things are happening then you know that your venus has some serious problems it is afflicted especially it can have afflictions from rahu yes and uh, suppose if it is having affliction by ketu then then it can happen that whenever there is some problem in venus you always want to fall back to some of your ketu things like addictions or taking into drugs alcohol all those things can happen yes those things can happen if venus and ketu are conjunct or if they are aspecting or you can uh, take into some spiritual path or whatever it is so that is how you know that how my venus is so instead of now that doesn't mean you don't use astrology i'm not saying that okay so now somebody will write oh that means you are saying you don't need to use astrology now just see your own life no i am not saying that i am saying if you are confused yes that my venus is strong or is it good or is it bad or is it weak or is it powerful <laughs> then you can introspect in your own life now this does not mean that suppose your jupiter is having some affliction suppose from saturn or rahu or ketu or whatever it is then suppose you go to one guru and you have some bad experience so you should not generalize that that is all in all yes because it can happen with me also it has happened one or two times you go to some teacher or some guru or they don't respect you or they don't treat you properly or they cheat you sometimes or they give you wrong things wrong information wrong knowledge so that can also happen but we cannot generalize it by one instance okay so if you have had issues in one area don't generalize that that plant is totally bad it can happen that Uh, th- there is some other reason because of which that is happening maybe some karma is there to pay back so but in general you will see that if re- repeatedly you are getting hit in one area yes like especially pertaining to venus i get people telling me that oh i have been into four relationships none of them works every place there is some problem or the other and some reason or the other it doesn't work whatever it is yes either the fault is from my side or from their side or it is from both sides so then you can take it that yes re- repeatedly i am getting hit in this area yes so suppose you are planning to have children but or many times it happens that you want to have children but the your wife or the husband doesn't want to have yes so then you can understand that maybe 
my Jupiter is not very strong. It is afflicted with Rahu, especially I have seen if women have Jupiter-Rahu com combinations in their chart, their husbands are reluctant to have kids in their home. I have examples uh, in some of my relatives and some of my friends also and some of my seniors, why not? So Jupiter-Rahu is very famous for that because uh, when Jupiter is with Rahu, then it can happen that uh, the... Anyways, I will speak about that some other day, not here today. So that is how you know because all your efforts in having children is getting baffled yes it is happening or if you are having abortions or whatever it is or there's miscarriage or some problem so if it's happening again and again you go to some guru to get something then as people say say to me that oh this astrologer cheated me that astrologer cheated me wherever i go i get cheated yes james Barr said if you have afflicted nine thousand those things can happen so now you really know that maybe the natural significator of knowledge higher wisdom jupiter is in a difficult state in my chart yes or the ninth lord is afflicted or the ninth house is afflicted as james brasser said in his interview so this is how you see yes and now regarding sun if you're always having problems with authority figures if you're always having this feeling that i don't know what i'm doing in life <laughs> because when sun is afflicted or it is in debility i have seen especially or if it is conjunct other malefics yes or it is or some 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 way it is not strong or it is bad or it is weak whatever you call it so then these people are very headless i have seen now don't type in the comments that oh i have sun in libra i am not headless <laughs> okay so i'm not saying that i'm saying that in my experience i have seen that if sun is not well placed yes especially if it is in the eighth house or the twelfth house and it is aspected by saturn in those two houses and also the lagna lord is weak yes then i have seen these people are totally headless headless means they don't know what to do in life they don't know why they're getting up they're just like oh let's get up because we have to get up right we have to go and get the food so that's the only reason they're getting up yes so the same thing is with moon if you don't get along well with your mother yes 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 this is one very strong indication if you do not get uh, uh, along with your mother very easily yes if you have serious issues now, now that doesn't mean that the relationship between you and your mother has to be perfect i'm not saying that but if it happens that all the time the only thing which is happening is you're fighting quarreling this bickering there's, uh, there's this negativity which is going on with between you and your mother then it is a very 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 strong indication that your moon can have difficulties even if it is sitting in taurus even then three degrees then also there is some problem that means some malefic will be aspecting that or it is in a difficult house or it can happen that your fourth house has some uh, serious malefics or they are aspecting so that means you know that even though my moon is in Taurus so I may be mentally stable but because of the fourth house because the fourth house also represents the mother so because of that there can be some issues in my heart also because fourth house also represents my heart yes so then we need to do the remedies pertaining to moon so i made videos on remedies pertaining to sun remedies pertaining to moon and i'll be making remedy on the other planets also in the coming future so please watch it 10 remedies for afflicted debilitated moon so you can do that yes arrange your life properly so and then what about saturn discipline if you check in your life what's going on so if you feel that you take up something but you never finish it yes does it sound like somebody <laughs> So if you feel that you take up suppose you plan that i'll open a youtube channel okay but it requires a lot of hard work sir <laughs> it's not that easy and especially if you are <coughs> preaching topics like bhagavad gita or astrology or something pertaining to spirituality well let me tell you from my experience nobody watches those videos <laughs> okay i mean not that zero views but the number of views are very less okay so you have to be prepared now if you upload on videos like oh love romance sex and affairs how to date how to get back your ex all those same rubbish garbage of this world as Prasad Maharaj says na kandu ye ye na kara ye va yori bahu dukkha dukkham kandu tivam manasi jam yes and Prasad Maharaj also says that punah charvita charvana naam chewing the chew chewing the chew chewing the chew yes how to get your ex-boyfriend back how to get your ex-girlfriend back yes so if you make videos on those topics you'll get so many views because that that's the garbage which the crows are searching for yes but if you make things uh, videos like sattvic things things like okay ayurveda how to improve your life astrology spirituality gita 
is very difficult to get subscribers and also it's very difficult to get views so you have to be patient so check your saturn check your life suppose you hit the gym today and then tomorrow you are like i don't want to do it man then that means there's a problem in your saturn yes if you feel that you cannot maintain anything consistency is not there in you in pertaining to anything in life because generally we'll observe if the a person is having problem of consistency in one area in li- in their life they will also have that problem in other areas which means you will never find a person who never ever studied seriously or not studies in fact there can be something which the person likes so that that they may do very well but if there is something which you don't like to do and you don't do at all so it is highly likely that you will still you will not do the other things also okay so if you hit the gym and after two days you are like oh i don't want to go or oh, i don't want to do yoga and then you open a youtube channel also yes and then you upload videos one day two day oh nobody is seeing me why should i upload yes so if that is happening with you then your saturn is in a bad shape unfortunately yes we recover all plans ah mercury if you always run into trouble pertaining to finances documents or you always run into trouble with friends or relatives yes sometimes in india <laughs> they can put you into trouble sometimes yes so then we understand that our mercury is not very well placed yes now it can happen that sometimes that our mercury may be in virgo and we are extremely intelligent but what if it is afflicted then we can misuse the intelligence yes there are many people who become terrorists and they make bombs and they will hack computers they will destroy systems so mercury affliction can be that way or mercury's affliction can also make a very great uh, thinker yes so that can also happen so you need to check the whole chart of course as i always keep saying so these are the ways by which you know so sun i covered problems with authority figures boss determination in life headlessness no goal in your life then moon yes mother then jupiter and mars if you are always lazy lethargic and you don't want to take any action if you are always procrastinating that oh tomorrow i will do this tomorrow i'll do that then that means your mars is in some kind of a difficulty okay so these are the ways and if you are the opposite if you are very proactive you are very assertive then your mars is very well placed okay so this is how you can no short in short yes what's happening so the first way is check the horoscopes the placements which you want to know in other people's lives and study their lives the second thing is if you want to know about your chart then just check how that planet is be i mean how you are behaving in your uh, own life pertaining to that planet okay so these two will be um, good shortcuts otherwise you have to keep going to 10 astrologers not 10 100000 and keep asking though my saturn is here is it good is it bad is it good is it bad okay and always remember even if your saturn is exalted or your mars is in capricorn or your jupiter is in cancer whatever it is it will never be perfect so whatever is the dignity of the planet whatever is the reality in our life pertaining to that planet then we always need to make sure that we improve it constantly okay so chanting mantras and then fasting on those days of the planets which are uh, representing uh, yes those traits where we have problem then chanting uh, the specific mantras and then worshiping the vishnu avatars concerning to those planets yes and then fo- following days like ekadashi and so many things are there about which i have spoken in my sun moon video that that remedies video and i will be speaking more on the other planets also in the coming time so all those things we can do and most importantly we need to maintain our spiritual lifestyle we need to arrange our life in a way which gives us fulfillment as lord krishna says in the gita that the mode of goodness is very important because that is the place where the yogi starts and he ascends to the higher realms yes so many people ask this question that oh i am drinking me uh, drinking wine i am eating meat can i become spiritual or can i not the answer is yes you can become you can start from rajas or tamas that is not a problem but eventually you have to come to the mode of sattva mode of goodness so if uh, we want some spiritual elevation then we have to come to the mode of goodness because spirituality is not in sattva it is in shuddha sattva okay that is beyond goodness also 
so for going beyond goodness we have to first come to goodness so that will only happen if uh, or rather let me put it the other way around that will not happen if we are going to parties at night 12 o'clock or night 2 o'clock and then watching movies of course nobody likes when i say all these things <laughs> because many people have messaged me that oh why do you say like this about parties na it's not good actually people will unsubscribe from your channel <laughs> it is not good actually people don't like to hear all these things you should only talk sweet things and then you'll get more subscribers you see your subscriber count will improve you will get a million subscribers in one year if you speak about things which they like but my point is i can't cheat people <laughs> i will tell what is there in the scriptures irrespective of whoever likes to hear it or who doesn't like to hear it okay so that is not going to happen there's oh, no sweet things will come out in this channel sometimes some sweet things may come out okay so we need to ensure that we have a good lifestyle we have people who are like visionaries yes we have friends who encourage us who are also um, busy in doing things which give them fulfillment yes and then we have support from our family our relatives to whatever extent possible yes and then we also go and meet uh, the holy people in the weekends whatever whichever religion you are yes so you can go and visit people and meet them and take enlightenment from them and learn the scriptures and spread the divine knowledge of the scriptures and by that you can maintain a good lifestyle and then focus on the remedies pertaining to the planets because many times people ask me that oh i am doing remedies for this planet it is not working that's not happening why it's not happening because not that you are doing it wrong okay you may be doing it right but overall your lifestyle has to be good so you can't expect that you will treat Uh, do remedies for saturn yes on saturday you will go on giving thousands and millions of dollars of donation and on the other side you are going on drinking alcohol that is not going to solve the problem of saturn it is going to make it worse actually okay and if you are thinking that you are going to watch pornography or you will indulge in things like prostitution or going on enjoying with multiple people and then you go on eat curd on fridays or pomegranates or you fast on fridays my dear sir it's not going to happen <laughs> it's like disaster total okay so our lifestyle has to be good only then the planets will improve so overall mode of goodness has to be there sattva guna has to be there then we will naturally see that all the remedies and all the things provided we are doing it right from the right source yes in the right time they will give us better results okay so that's it from my side if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then please approach me through my website the link is there in the description below and if you want me to make any other video then please let me know okay there you go shortcut to know if a planet is strong weak bad miserable or afflicted okay until next time wish you good luck bye bye see you